Hello and welcome everyone to a new Play Recognizer tutorial. Today we will cover a stream installation and Docker installation. So let's go ahead and start with our today video. Today we will cover Docker installation process with the WSLs to install, the stream installation process, usage and configuration. Let's open our Play Recognizer tutorial for Docker installation. As you can see, system requirements, we need a Windows 10 device with virtualization enabled in BIOS, at least four gigs of RAM, and internet connection insta uh, during the installation process. First of all, we're gonna click on install in Docker. This will redirect us to the Docker official website, and we're gonna click on doc Docker desktop for Windows, okay? it will start a download. After download, we will make sure to run our executable file. Okay, so let's run it. Let's click on yes for the security question. It will start the installation process. Uh, it will go through different steps. In this particular part, we need to make sure to have both options checked and then click OK. It's very important to check the WSL option because this with, with, uh, will be a require for us to run Docker. Okay, so it will start installing and after this it will show us a message for close and restart. We need to make sure to click on close and restart. Okay, so after restart, the system will open Docker automatically. We need to accept the agreements. We will get an error because we still need to install the WSLs too to make sure that, uh, that our Docker is running. As you can see, it's a system requirements for Docker. We will go to our official uh, site of Play Recognizer and click on install WSL. It will redirect us to the uh, Microsoft site. Here uh, it's showing a command that you can see is WSL uh, install but if you are getting an error we need to go to the manual steps. In my particular case I run the enable Windows subsystem for Linux. This will enable some um, Windows features in our computer and as well we're gonna run this command to enable virtual machine feature and we're gonna download the kernel update package. It is very important. Let's run it, click on next, accept the, the security and then finish. I may I change the WSL2 to a default version. We can run in this command and this will enable. After this uh, we're gonna run Docker once again and this time we are not gonna get the WSL error. So let's wait for Docker. As you can see it's, it's loading now and Docker it's up and running. Okay so now we're gonna move to the second part of installing stream. We're gonna use the PR installer uh, we also have the manual step. For this particular video, we're going to go into the PR installer. This will open a, a different uh, link that will uh, show us where to download for a Windows version. So let's go ahead and download the Windows installer. Okay, I have it downloaded already, so we're going to run in this one. Uh, but you can running after download. Just make sure to run the, a, in this case, the the script, because it's, at the end it's a script. It will open directly to this uh, URL that it's posted in the sites. We're going to hit on stream. Now we need to open uh, Docker. We need to make sure to open Docker. So let's go ahead and open Docker. Okay, so after open Docker, we need to go back to our to our uh, site 
and make sure to refresh. Okay, after refresh, a stream will show us this information. We need to make sure to enter every steps. We need to add the API token that it will redirect us to our play recognizer. Let's copy the, the API token and the license key. Okay. Once done, we need to show um, the Docker command. Let's copy and run it in our terminal. Okay. I'll get an error because right now we don't have this uh, a camera enabled but this is the process of the installation. If you're at this point, it's because you were able to complete the process. Thank you for watching till the end. See you in another Play Recognizer tutorial.